What is up lads, what's the crack, I hope you guys are good, we are back, I will be streaming later on today where we'll talk about these players in a little bit more detail, but for right now we did focus on them yesterday when we were streaming, so I'm recording this video now, we will be streaming later on, and we were streaming yesterday where people were asking me about these four players, Madison, Gundo, uh, Gibbs White and McAllister all kind of similar players all can play that CMF AMF type role um, I'm going to focus on Gibbs White and Gundo Gundo on here because they're whole players which is a very you know really really nice play style we've got a couple of nice player skills um, to go through here Gundogan is definitely one of the best players in this pack on the surface he doesn't look you know amazing but um, that's because of his acceleration and stuff that we will get into but we're going to show you two very very different type of uh, types of whole player okay um, the first one that we're going to take a look at is Manchester City's well Barcelona's Gundo now um, this is this guy has been a monster for me on my other profile uh, I haven't really played with him too much when I've been streaming but for the events and stuff when I have played with a Germany national team he is a beast lads he's so good his runs are kind of reminiscent of Enzo Fernandez when I was playing with him in my earlier uh, season exploits but yeah genuinely I do think that if you are looking for a whole player this guy pretty much has everything if you're willing to put a bit of time in a bit of training and learning how the whole player works right especially if you're playing long ball quick counter as I call it or else quick counter okay um, possession wise he can mix it as well you see you've got all the key stats there and we're also going to show you here um, how exactly he's going to be trained. We have the additional skills up there as well, which are key. And a lot of people ask me uh, to do them. So yeah, there is that included in the new videos. And um, that's something that we will do. I think if you're going to be adding Gundogan to your squad, right? I would genuinely, because of his, his issues with speed and stuff, I would be adding him with this build as a impact player, right? So when we talk about starting players and we talk about impact players, a starting player, if you've got a starting 11, especially with the form being as it is, the form being on unwavering is a must. If you are looking to have a bit of consistency, if you're going for divisions, or if you're just trying to you know, start a different squad and play different things until you football 24. So with this build here, he only does go to a 92 overall, but you can see his rating as an AMF, even though he can't play there, um, with this as a registered position, is going to be 95 overall. So he's gonna, this card is going to be a 95 attacker midfielder type build. So you've got 80 acceleration and kicking power with balance at the 80 mark as well. And then every single stat that you see here, including finishing, is going to be over 80. Dribbling is the weakest one at 80, but you've got ball control at 88. Low pass is 88. And of course, we also have the speed at 73 with stamina 87. Curl is going to be nice as well. But as I said, this card is really key if you are going to be adding low lofted pass, super sub, and the all important for this build, knuckle shot, right? So you will see here that we've kind of maxed out the 82 finishing. I genuinely think you should give this card uh, this build a go it's not a build that you will see probably anywhere else because it is kind of a different one it's more of a unique build right you could take two away from the shooting there to have it at 80 if you want to go that route and you could bring let's just say you wanted to bring up the dribbling two or you wanted to bring the passing up two i would probably say that you don't really need to um, or if you even wanted to bring the acceleration up 1 to 81 with 81 balance and get that dexterity to 87. I probably wouldn't. Like, I think if you're using this card, it's an impact player. You're using him as a kind of Paul, Paul Scholes-esque type player where you're going to be getting into the box and shooting, okay? Now, as I said, that is a very important thing with the additional skills there. So you do want to be putting on those skills if you can do them, right? Next up, we've got a very different whole player, but one of the most exciting players on this list. Um, he's down as a five-star card. And a lot of people are kind of saying, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's not great. He doesn't have a real face in game. But look at the player skills, right? Long range shooting, heel trick, first time shot. Then passing wise, he's got one touch pass, way to pass, pinpoint crossing, outside curler, and low lofted pass. But the real interesting thing about this card is his aggressiveness, right? So I definitely, if you're looking for something different, right? If you're sick of divisions, if you're sick of the meta, anti-meta, you're sick of all that stuff. If you're getting Gibbs White and you get this card, give this build a go, lads, and let me know what you think. Because I think I have built an absolute demon of a player here. And I'm going to show you why, right? Fighting spirit and interception are going to mean that we're going to train this guy up very aggressive, okay? He's got unwavering form, so you'll be definitely be able to get him into your squad more often than not. 
and this is the build that we've gone for, right? So we've gone for a pure um, 92 overall, pure kind of like attacking midfielder, right? Now, the big key between these cards um, and Gundogan is the fact that his balance and acceleration is going to be off the charts here, right, for an attacking midfielder. He's a smaller base player, which always means you get higher balance, you know, Romario, uh, Michael Owen, any of those players, but it's the acceleration, the balance at 88, and on top of that, you're going to have the ball control, dribbling, and low pass all into the mid-80s, right? Tight possession at 82 and lofted pass at 81. Unless you're kind of going to be spraying balls around, which don't really work, then I would definitely go with this route. Now, we have two ways of training him up here if we want to. And again, we do have those additional skills that we want to put onto him if we want to make him the ultimate version of him with this build. But try it out. Super sub, double touch, and true passing onto this card to coexist with the rest of these player skills will turn him into an absolute assassin in that attack and midfielder role and he'll play way above his stats built like this right now there is one key difference between this one and other ones if you don't shoot a lot right and if you just find that yeah this card looks really insane i want to try it out but i never get in position to shoot i just like to pass you know get into good positions and then just slot at home or i like to score with my strikers you can take away four from this and put three into uh, defending and that will give you the aggression at 78 the higher the aggression is with the fighting spirit and the interception you will be able to press extremely aggressively with this card whatever it is about him he's kind of like that pedri type um, glide around the pitch with the balance the acceleration and the tight possession right also on top of that as well if you are going to be using this guy as a super sub which i definitely recommend and you're going to be using him as a impact player i would take away one of these right I would also take away one of these to give you three points and then I would probably put one more into dribbling to get that ball control up to 86 to get the boost to about 88 right that will mean that when you get the ball it's going to stick a little bit better it's not really noticeable but it definitely is something that I've tried out on my other profile and he's a beast I definitely think this build will be a monster he'll glide around the pitch if you've played with Pedri you know what you're getting so that is it for me lads if you like these videos don't forget to subscribe let me know what you think are they going to be good players for you let me know if you do this if you do get gibbs white you can retrain him for free as many times as you want let me know what you think of this build and for gundo's build and i will talk to you later peace